Hi. Now here we've got an example then based on complex numbers. And if you'd like to give it a go, if you haven't tried it already, just pause the video and come back when ready and you can check your work solution with mine. Okay, welcome back if you had a go. So first of all, we've got that z equals 50 all divided by 3 plus 4i. And what we've got to do is find in the form a plus ib, where a and b are real numbers, the value of z. So to do something like this, we just put part a here. Then if we just copy down what we're given, z equals 50 over 3 plus 4i. What we need to do is multiply top and bottom of our fraction by what is called the complex conjugate of the denominator. In other words, the complex conjugate of 3 plus 4i is 3 minus 4i. So doing that should remove the denominator. And when I say remove it, it turns it into a real number. And what is that going to be? Well, first of all, I'm not going to expand the top of the uh, fraction here. Just leave it as 50 multiplied by 3 minus 4i. But in the denominator here, what we've got is the difference of two squares. So you're going to get 3 times 3, 3 squared, which is 9. And then you're going to get 4i multiplied by minus 4i which is minus 16 i squared. But i squared is negative 1, so that turns out to be 16. Now, 9 and 16 is 25, and that, therefore that cancels into the 50 twice. So what we end up with, if we were to expand it, is going to be two lots of 3 minus 4i, giving us 6 minus 8i. OK, so there's our simplified version of z. Now, for the next parts, in part b, we've got to work out z squared. Now, z squared then is going to be equal to either this squared, but much easier to work with this one here, this version of z. So I'm going to go for that. So we've got 6 minus 8i all squared, or 6 minus 8i multiplied by another 6 minus 8i. And if we expand this, 6, 6 is 36. Then you've got minus 48i, and then minus another 48i, so that's minus 96i. And then you've got minus 8i times minus 8i, so that's going to be plus 64i squared. I squared though is negative 1, so you're going to end up with minus 64. And tidying this up, real part first, 36 minus 64 gives us minus 28. And then you've got the imaginary part, minus 96i. Now in part C, we've got to find the modulus of the complex number z. And the easiest one to work with is this version of z. And to do that, just sketch it on an argon diagram, but you should be able to do it without the argon diagram in front of you. We've got the real axis here, and we've got the imaginary axis. And if we were to sketch z on an argon diagram, 6 minus 8i, it's going to be 6 units in the real direction, 8 units down. So it's going to be a complex number looking something like that. This would be z. And if we're trying to find its magnitude, then all we do is we complete the triangle. And we can see that this side is 6 units long, this side is 8 units long. So the magnitude of z we can work out through Pythagoras' theorem, and it's going to be the square root of 6 squared plus 8 squared. Basically, a 3, 4, 5 triangle, only scaled up by a factor of 2. So what you're going to get is square root of 100, which is 10. Now, in the last part, D, we've got to find the arg of z squared, giving our answer in degrees to one decimal place. So 
we've got z squared minus 28 minus 96i. And for this one, I'd want to sketch the complex number z squared on an argon diagram. So again, we've got our real axis, an imaginary axis, and we're going to find that complex number, minus 28, minus 96i, somewhere in this quadrant. So we're going to go 28 units to the left, 96 units down. It's not drawn to scale, but you're going to get something, say, looking like this. So this is z squared. And when it comes to working out the arg of z squared, remember your angle, starting from here, must be between minus 180 degrees and 180 degrees. So in other words, the turn that we need to give is this negative turn here. This is going to be the arg of z squared. So in order to do this, again, if we complete a triangle through here, we can see that this side is 28 units and this is 96 units. And if I work out this angle in here, which I'll call theta, hope you can see that. Now if we do the tan of theta, it's going to be 96 over 28, opposite over adjacent. So theta will be equal to the inverse tan of 96 over 28. Make sure your calculator is in degrees mode and if you work this out you'll find you get 73.739 and so on degrees. So when it comes to the arg of z squared then it's going to be a negative turn and in size it's going to be 180 degrees minus the answer we've got here 73.739 and so on and working that out you should finally get minus 106.26 and so on and if we round this to the accuracy that's asked for one decimal place then it's going to be minus 106.3 degrees to one decimal place, one dp. All right.